Welcome to the English Rhythm Comparison for Spanish speakers. Before we begin, if you have not seen the first rhythm lesson, I strongly recommend that you start there, which I have linked in the description. But the main thing I want you to focus on is the syllable length. Don't be confused by the stress. Remember, your language is syllable timed, unlike English, which is stress timed. This is super, super important, especially if you want to sound very natural. Remember that in syllable timed languages, the syllable length, even if a syllable is stressed, the syllable length is going to be about the same in every syllable. This is completely different from English. So you want to pay very, very close attention to that detail as we go through this lesson. We're going to be looking at 10 sentences total of generally different kinds of sentences. First, you'll hear the Spanish at normal speed spoken by a native, followed by the English at normal speed. Then there will be the Spanish at slower speed and the English at slower speed, so you can better try to hear the length. This lesson will help train your ears for how English sounds and how your language sounds, and you can also use it as additional shadowing practice, but first, Focus mostly on your ears and don't worry about your mouth. Veo a un hombre. I see a man. Veo a un hombre. I see a man. I see a man. No lo veo. I don't see it. No lo veo. I don't see it. I don't see it. ¿La ves a ella? Do you see her? ¿La ves a ella? Do you see her? Do you see her? ¿Estás seguro? Are you sure? ¿Estás seguro? Are you sure? Are you sure? ¿Qué ves? What do you see? ¿Qué ves? What do you see? What do you see? Eres estudiante, ¿no? You're a student, right? Eres estudiante, ¿verdad? You're a student, right? You're a student, right? Hazlo. Do it. Hazlo. Do it. Do it. Es increíble. That's amazing. Es increíble. That's amazing. That's amazing. Quiero ir a la playa. I want to go to the beach. Quiero ir a la playa. I want to go to the beach. I want to go to the beach. No quiero ir porque me da miedo. I don't want to go because it's scary. No quiero ir porque me da miedo. I don't want to go because it's scary. I don't want to go because it's scary. What was the most interesting or surprising thing that you noticed between English and your language? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching another English Hacks lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.